Tetris is my favorite puzzle game, let alone my favorite game of all time. But when I'm not playing Tetris, I'm usually playing word puzzle games. I just really enjoy word puzzle games because words really click with me better than pretty much anything else. And that's why I wanted to share my top five word puzzle games on mobile. Let's get right into it. First up, we have Spell Tower. Now, Spell Tower is a word search type game where you're given a board full of letters and then you try to make as many words as you can out of that board full of letters, all while trying to score as many points as possible. And you do this by making as long of words as you can and using specific vowels and consonants and stuff like that. Now, there's a surprising amount of gameplay modes in this, including daily searches. So this is giving you new content every single day to experience and then compare your scores with friends and other people on the leaderboard. This is just a solid word game and one of my favorites on this list. There's also an Apple Arcade version, which is Spell Tower Plus, as far as I know. And so if you have an Apple Arcade subscription, you can definitely go get that one as well, which has all of the gameplay modes unlocked for you without an in-app purchase. So this is a solid option. I highly suggest it. Next up, we have Wordle, and Wordle has taken the world by storm and for good reason. Now, each day you can solve one Wordle puzzle. Now, in this puzzle, you solve it by finding a five letter word, and you only get six guesses to do so. When you make a random guess, it will tell you whether the letters in the word that you guessed are in the actual word, as well as if those letters are in the right position. And so you have six guesses to find it out and figure out the right vowels and consonants, and then figuring out the word itself. So you kind of rack your brain throughout the day and it's one of those slow burn puzzles and it's really fun. And then once you solve the puzzle or if you don't, you're able to share your results with others online. And that's why you see over various social medias, these little colored graphs that have these little colored blocks. And it's basically telling how many letters people got right and whether they found the word or not. And it's really interactive and fun with friends. Now you can't download this directly from the app store. You have to play it in your web browser, but you can add the web page to your home screen, and then it basically just turns into an app like you downloaded it from the app store. But this is really fun, and since you can only solve one puzzle per day, I find that it's very addicting and something that I do daily. So definitely check it out. Next up, we have Wordsmith. Now in Wordsmith, you get a small group of letters and then you make as many words out of those letters as you can. Now, they also let you know how many words can be made out of those letters and every time you make a word, it will cross it off the list. And every day you get a new puzzle. And what really sets this game apart is it's a zen-like game. So they give you a beautiful naturistic scene to look at and hear and it's so relaxing. It's really hard to describe without just sitting there and looking Looking at it and feeling it, it's amazing. So this is a very relaxing Zen-like game to experience in the word puzzle game genre, and I highly suggest you check it out. Next up, we have Spellspire. Now, Spellspire mixes the RPG genre with the word puzzle game genre, and it really does work. Now, you are given a set group of letters, and you have to make as many words as you can out of those letters in order to perform attacks against enemies, as well as unlock chests and do other actions. So your character is progressing from the left to the right side of the screen, and this is the level, so to speak, and you have to progress through these levels and gain gear and things that will up your stats and strengthen your character over time. And it's really fun. It really reminds me of those typing games from back in the day where you had to type certain words in order to kill things, except this one, you have to make the words yourself out of a group of letters that they give you. So if you want to feel a sense of progression with your word puzzle game, and if you enjoy role playing games, definitely check this one out. Last but not least, we have Downwardly. Now what makes Downwardly so unique is its layered letter mechanic. Now each puzzle consists of letters, however they are layered on top of one another, and when you make words out of these letters, they will shatter and reveal what's underneath. And the game's gameplay modes really play off of this mechanic because certain modes will have a list of words that you have to make, and you only have a certain amount of turns to do so, so you have to be very careful with what words you make and in what order, as well as the letters that you use to make those words, it's really interesting, and I've never experienced anything quite like it in the word puzzle game genre, so I highly suggest you check it out. And there's also a very fun two-player mode where you can kind of face off against a friend and just take turns whenever throughout the day, and you try to score as much points as possible from a series of boards that you use together. So it's really interesting. Definitely check it out. 
All right, guys, those are my top five word puzzle games on mobile. Don't forget to leave a like, pop a sub, and comment. It really helps out small channels like mine, and I appreciate you watching to the end of the video. If you want more content from me, check out any of the links in the description down below, especially my TikTok page. I cover so many mobile games on that that I don't on this YouTube channel, and vice versa. Again, thank you so much. I hope you guys are staying safe, and take it easy.